Hello, good morning from AR to TV. I'm excited to bring to you again another wonderful and blessed edition of Open Heaven Outline. Our topic for today is getting answers through worship. Getting answers through worship. And the Bible reading for today will be taken from the book of 1 Kings chapter 18 from verse 36 to 39. And our memory verse will come from the book of John chapter 14 verse 13. John chapter 14 verse 13. The Bible says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, without controversy, our Father in the Lord is talking. He says, My God is a prayer answering God. Of course, not only does He answer prayers, He can also answer them instantly. If there is any example of a prayer that was answered instantly, is the prayer of Elijah, which brought down fire of God in today's Bible reading. In the name that is above every other name, God will answer your prayers by fire today in the name of Jesus. Our Father in the Lord, the author of the Open Heaven Devotion, has said Elijah is one of his favorite characters in the Bible. And he spent three years studying about him. He observed something very, very significant about Elijah. He was a man. He was a prayer warrior. You will observe that Elijah started his prayer by calling on the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, what is the significance of this? He was first worshiping God by eulogizing him, by praising him. When you go through the scripture, you discover that all that worshipped God got their request granted. Matthew chapter 8 from verse 1 to 3 tells us the story of a leper who was granted his request. This was someone who had an incurable disease. Someone who was not supposed to be found among the multitude. I don't know who is writing you off. The Lord is bringing you back in. He came to Jesus and the first thing he did was to worship him. He worshipped him before he said, I know you can heal me if you want to. Of course, he has already prepared the ground for his request to be granted. And so Jesus had no choice but to say, I am willing, be thou cleansed. No matter the position we occupied in life, we are supposed to praise and worship God. Whenever we are praising God and dancing and rejoicing, I see some people who feel they are too big to worship the King of Kings. This is rather unfortunate because there is no one like our God. He is greater than the greatest. He is higher than the highest. He is older than the oldest. He is richer than the richest. Our God is better than the best. So what else do we think that we can actually give to him? I want to challenge you today to worship your way out and to worship your way in to your victory today. Remember, God inhabits the praise of his people. I want you to make praise and worship a lifestyle and you will see God working wonders in your life. Shall we just bow down our head and pray? Mighty Father, Lord, we pray for the grace to worship you in truth and in spirit. The grace to praise and to worship you for who you are. The grace to call down your presence in worship. And the grace, O oh God, to receive answers to our prayers through worship. That in return, your name will be glorified and be blessed in your son. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus mighty name we pray amen remember make praising and worshiping god a lifestyle and you see your enemies falling down before you the lord bless you remember to join us again tomorrow it's ar to tv i'm justin awani and bye for now Open.